In just over two weeks, the NASCAR street race will be taking over downtown Chicago. And today, members of the city council did not only focus on how all the road closures will affect your traffic and safety, they also wanted to know more about how secure the race will be. CBS 2's political investigator Dana Kozlov is live at City Hall with the latest. Dana? Jim and Marie, this was an opportunity for members of the city council's transportation committee to ask specific questions about the upcoming race to the organizers of this upcoming event. Chicago Street Course President Julie Giese gave a 30-minute presentation in council chambers stressing NASCAR's desire to be community-minded and involved. Street closures have already begun. More are scheduled for this Saturday. The biggest closures then taking place June 25th. But one of the biggest concerns for a few alder people, including 42nd Ward Alderman Brendan Riley, whose ward is significantly impacted by the race, is security for the event, outside security that NASCAR provides. As we all know, um, we're a bit short on police officers around here these days, and I would like to get a sense of how much is being committed to the footprint itself. And we have opened up a voluntary overtime um, initiative to try to um, tamp down the number that will be um, canceled. Alderman Riley also brought up his frustration with the lack of transparency when it came to planning this event as it regards to the former mayoral administration. He, however, says now he commends NASCAR officials for working with current alder people. Julie Giese went on to say that they continue to actively try and educate the community, especially residents most impacted by the race course. For instance, she says they've already handed out 48,000 flyers. I'm live outside Chicago City Hall. Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Jim and Marie. Thank you, Dana.